Do you want to hear John Bolton testify? Well, I, don't, I certainly don't need to hear John Bolton testify. And t to me, you know, you'd said he's now in the center of this impeachment situation. And I, I think he always has been. Mm -hmm. It's just that he's sort of inserted himself a little more into it by, I, I shouldn't say he him, himself, but he's been inserted as a result of this leak from the NSC. And I don't think it's very much new information. I really don't. I, I mean, I know that he's... Democrats believe that he's a first-hand witness, that he's, he's a fact witness, but he sounds like all the other witnesses that the Democrats have put up, all the other, quote, ambassadors that have sort of some hearsay knowledge. Um, but even if he doesn't, the testimony we heard yesterday, um, as, we, as we record this, from like Alan Jer Dershowitz and Ken Starr and, and Robert Ray and others, is even if it's all true, exactly in the worst case scenario, as, as um, John Bolton may put it, it doesn't really change the facts much, if at all. For me, um, I, I also don't think I've really learned anything new from him because we already know that the president was concerned about the Biden's role when, he, when, the, when Joe Biden was the vice president of the United States and a possible corrupt you know, activity in Ukraine. So if, we, if it's just further proof of it, so what? We already know that.